is up everybody today we are back and I have a totally different kind of video for you guys and although there is some Minecraft gameplay in the background to keep you entertained it really has absolutely nothing to do with this video and that is because this is as you can tell from the title story time with James now I know the title says story time with Pierre and that's just because I don't think very many of you guys actually know my real name uh, but it is James and if you guys ever talk to me or we ever chat or whatever uh, I do prefer that you guys call me James just because it's a little more personal and uh, you guys have really allowed me to do a lot of different things, and so I want to be as personal with as many of you as I can. And so, like, calling me by my first name is probably the best way to do that. And so, uh, like I said, probably the next video will be called Storytime with James. But I just did pure because I don't think very many of you guys uh, know my actual name. So, anyway, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into today's story. And some of you guys kind of know about it, and some of you guys don't, right? So, if any of you guys saw the first episode of my Let's Play, you guys know that I talked about the fact that I was going to be going up into the woods for a couple of days, rather. And, uh, and trying to survive out there and filming a new series that I was going to be making. Now, it just so happens that I did actually go up there, right? All of this happened. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tell the story and explain to you guys. For those of you guys who wanted to see the videos that came out of that, I'm going to go ahead and explain why, why none of those have come out thus far. So... Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, to start off, a little bit of backstory. Um, I was planning on going up over Christmas break, right? Because for those of you guys who don't know, I actually currently go to school. I go to college. And so, uh, I can only get, you know, so many times a year to actually go out and do different things for like a week long. And so, over Christmas break, I was going to go on a week-long excursion out into the woods and see if I could survive, you know, out in the wilderness and see if I could do it. And uh, the plan was for me to film it and for me to make a couple of YouTube videos on it and to post them on another channel, which I haven't announced, by the way. And I don't know if I will announce it on this channel just because, like I said, it's a, if you guys saw the Let's Play, you know. But uh, it's just because it's like way, way, way different content and I don't, you know, it's like a different viewer base. But anyway, um, so I was going to go out into the woods and try and survive for a couple of days and that was the plan, right? So about a week before I went, and I know there's going to be a bunch of people saying, about a week ago. Anyway, um, <laughs> about a week before I went, it was, it was super warm. Warm, right? It was abnormally warm in Minnesota. And so the actual place I was going to survive was very, very, very northern Minnesota in the Superior National Forest. And where I actually was was probably, I don't know, less than an hour from the can the, can the Canadian border. And so I was way, way far north, where probably like one of the coldest places in the United States. And it may have been at that point in time. And I'm going to get to that in just a moment. So anyway, I was going up to the Superior National Forest. And I'm sorry, I'm horrible at telling stories in, in, a, in order. So, <laughs> so just bear with me. Uh, but so I was going up to the Superior National Forest to film this thing. And about a week before I went, there was, um, like, an Arctic blast that was supposed to be coming, right? And I thought, okay, it's going to be a little chillier than it usually is. And at that point, like I said, it was really warm, right? For any of you guys, like, in the United States, you know that in early December and mid-December, it was actually really quite warm, uh, abnormally warm. And then towards the end and the beginning of January, it got freezing, freezing cold. And that just so happened to be the time that I was going to survive. And uh, the couple of days I was out there, I think the highest temperature it got to was negative 30 wind chill and I don't know if any of you guys have ever experienced negative 30 degrees or negative 40 degrees is what it was during the day some of the time I was out there but it is bone chillingly cold so anyway I drove up there the first day and I got there the first day and I got there a little too late right like I got there at probably two o'clock and two o'clock in the middle of winter means you only have about two and a half hours of daylight left. And that would have been nowhere near enough for me to, you know, set up all my camera gear, get some shots, survive, set up a fire, get a shelter built and do all these different things. And so I said, OK, obviously I can't go out into the woods today. And so I went, stayed in a hotel and then came back the next morning at about, I don't know, it was probably 10 a.m. in the morning. And, uh, and I set out to, to survive, right? And so I was out there. When I left my car, it was probably, uh, I think, like negative 30 degrees uh, that morning. And so I went out there. It was freezing cold, by the way. I did have, I did have gear, um, but it was, it was cold. It was still very, very cold. And so I was out there with my camera gear. And the first day I was out there, I spent way, way, way too much time filming, right? Like I took like perfect camera angles. I got some good shots. I got, you know, some stuff of me hiking back into the woods. And I know I didn't mention it before, but this was like a little survival thing, so I was bringing very, very limited supplies, right? I had one day's worth of food, and I was planning on originally staying for five days, but I'm going to explain that in just a moment. Um, I was planning on staying for five days with one day's worth of food, you know, and no other gear except for like a hatchet, a knife, and, uh, and like a little fire stick, and that was it. 
And right, the goal was to see if I could hunt, survive, and uh, and flourish, I guess, in the wilderness. So anyway, first day I went out there, and I spent way too much time filming, way too much time filming. And so by the time three o'clock rolled around, which you guys were paying attention a second ago, means I had about an hour and a half of daylight left. It, I had no shelter built, and I had no fire going um, because I had spent way too much time filming and just collecting a bunch of firewood. And you know, firewood is good. If you have a fire, but I didn't have a fire, and so by the time that the uh, three o'clock rolled around, like I said, I had no fire, no shelter, and when I actually tried to start my fire, I had a little uh, a little flint stick. Um, so I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but there's like uh, these these magnesium fire starters that have magnesium on the bottom and a flint stick on top. And uh, by the time I tried to use it, which was about this three o'clock point where I thought, dang, I should probably get a fire going. Um, I actually took it out and started to start the fire. And I did, you know, two or three strikes with the uh, with on the flint rod and then it just busted off. So I guess I guess either I bought like the cheapest flint rod in the world or it was just so cold that the thing malfunctioned when I tried to use it and it just busted off and I couldn't make a fire with it. Right. Because it was just this itty bitty little flint rod with nothing to hold on to. And obviously you can't start a fire like that. Right. So. Um, I couldn't actually start a fire and that was because like I said I had no fire starting method because the flint rod was the only thing I had so the first day w wasn't a complete failure right because I figured out how long I needed to be filming um, you know maybe during the day and how much survival versus filming I need to be doing and so I kind of learned that but there was no way I was going to be able to survive the night because I think it was it was set to get down to like negative 40 negative 45 that night and with no shelter and no fire I would I would have froze froze solid and, and you know died in the woods so anyway um, so the first night I went back and I slept in my car and then um, the next morning I came out again and that was uh, probably the best decision ever because if I would have tried like I said to stay out there it was the wind was whipping so hard against like the sides of my car like I, I would have froze out there especially because I don't know if I would have been able to find my way back because I did literally just hike out into the middle of the woods with you know little to no way to get back except for my tracks in the snow. And so if it was nighttime, I, I probably would have died out in the woods. But obviously I didn't because I'm back and I'm not stupid. I'm not sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. I'm not that stupid. And uh, <laughs> and so I came back to my car. The second day I went out there, um, it was it was the colder of the two days. And I think that during the day it was probably negative 40 during the day. And uh, I think the night was probably supposed to be about that same because the wind was supposed to die down. And I'm sorry, I'm saying I'm saying negative 40. That's negative 40 windshield. It was actually, the actual temperature was, I think, negative 28 uh, without the windshield. So anyway, it was still freezing cold. Like, literally, if you took, if I, if I didn't have on my gloves for any amount of time, my hands would absolutely become numb. Like, over the course of 10 seconds, it, they would be hurting. Like, you know, like when your hands get cold, they hurt. Like, they would hurt. And then um, even after that, after another, you know, maybe 20 seconds, I would lose, like, complete the feeling. That's how cold it was. And so the second day when I went out there, the first thing I did was I tried to start a fire. I actually had some matches in my car that I used. And so even with those, it was tough to get a fire going because I had like multiple layers of gloves. And when I was starting the fire, right, I needed dexterity in my fingers or dexterity is like uh, the ability to use your fingers to do fine tasks. And so I was trying to do fine tasks to get the fire started with the matches, you know, in the birch bark. And in negative 40 degree weather, let me just tell you right now, that is incredibly, incredibly difficult to do. So it probably took me honestly like an hour just to collect all of the uh, all of the tinder that I ended up needing to use to get the fire going. And, uh, you know, the birch bark. And then I, I used a couple of matches to get this thing going because in negative 40 degree weather, right, we've all made fires like in camps, you know, when it's nice out or relatively nice out. But trying to make a fire in this on top of the snow, right, with like wood plank, like obviously I didn't make it right on top of the snow, but making it in the snow and with uh, with just a couple of matches is incredibly difficult in negative 40 degree weather. So anyway, by the time I finally got that going, my hands were completely frozen. My feet were completely frozen. And I was like, dang, we got to get moving. So I filmed all of that. And I think I got footage of that honestly I haven't actually looked at my footage yet but let me continue so after I got the fire going, um, I then went ahead and I started building my shelter. And I was like, okay, I'm not going to film very much of this because the first day I spent way too much time filming. And so I didn't try and film any of it until I was about nine-tenths of the way done. And so when I was nine-tenths of the way done, I was like, okay, let me go ahead and show people the shelter that I built. Uh, for those of you guys wondering and for those of you guys who know stuff about shelter, it was uh, it was a type of lean-to with, uh, with like planks on the bottom. And I had some spruce boughs on the bottom for bedding. 
And it was a really, really nice shelter, and I definitely think I could have survived in it. Um, but when I actually started up my camera to uh, to like show people what I had built, obviously with my shelter, um, the camera didn't start. And right, so I wasn't I wasn't too worried at first because I thought, you know, I'm just gonna swap out the batteries and it's gonna work fine. Because like I had a camera case that had batteries in it, and I had my camera like obviously out in the out, out in the out in the weather where I could you know shoot the shoot the shelter. And so I was like, okay, I'm just going to swap out these batteries. And I swapped out two or three or four batteries, and none of them would start. And I'm assuming that it's because my camera absolutely froze solid. Now, prior to this, when I was actually starting the fire in the morning, um, my GoPro froze, right? Because I had a GoPro and a main camera that I was filming my stuff with, and my GoPro froze after it was outside for like two hours, and my main camera was still working, so I was like, okay, this, is, this isn't too bad, right? I still have my main camera to film some stuff, but that actually froze solid, I guess, sometime over the time I was building my shelter, and so I wasn't actually able to film any of my shelter because the camera just wouldn't start. Now, I know you're thinking, well, why didn't you just put the camera next to the fire, right? Warm it up, warm up the batteries, warm up, whatever. Well, you know what? I'm not trying to melt my camera because this was the first time I was actually using it like out in the woods. And the last thing I wanted to do was melt it. And not to mention, at this point, I couldn't feel my fingers or my toes. And so I don't know if you guys have ever, like I said, been out in temperatures this cold, but it is incredibly, incredibly, incredibly difficult to warm up your feet inside of the boot by a fire. And if you take your boots off, obviously, you know, they're going to get super, super cold because they're exposed to the air. And then you got to heat them up and try and get them back into the boot at the same time. And it was just like, I can't film this. I'm freezing cold. I can't feel my fingers or my toes. And it was like, I probably could survive in this tonight, but it's really not worth it if I can't show anybody, you know, the adventures that I'm on. And so then by the time I finished my shelter and by the time I decided that I was going to pull the plug, it was probably about, I don't know, three o'clock in the afternoon. And so I hiked the two miles or so out that I had that I had come in. Again, following my tracks, like I said, if that if uh, if the night that I had stayed either night, I guess um, it would have uh, you know snowed or the wind would have blown, I would have been you know struggling to get out of there, you know, because my tracks would have been blown over and covered in the snow, and it really wasn't a risk I was trying to take without you know being able to film it or without uh, you know at least the first night having a having a viable shelter to survive in. So I decided to pull the plug, decided to get out because I'm not that stupid. I'm not trying to die out in the woods in negative 45 degree weather with you know a fire and a shelter, but I probably could have survived. But I really didn't think that freezing my butt off was worth it because I wasn't going to be able to film it. So anyway, that's like the long version of the story. And then I just came home and I obviously I made some more videos for you guys. But that's kind of the long version of the story with what happened with my survival trip. What I did learn on that trip was a lot of things, though, right? I learned how to kind of maintain the cameras out in the wilderness and how to work them, how much time I should be spending, like, shooting different scenes and things like that. And all I just I, – it was, it was a very – it was – if nothing else, it was like a training trip, and I really don't know how much footage I got from it, but I'm going to look through it here in the next couple of days and see what I got. And I really just wanted to bring this video to you guys and tell you guys the story because I feel like you guys, uh, you guys would want to know for those of you guys interested in, in my story out in the woods. And, uh, and it was definitely an experience, right? My hands were frozen. Like, my hands were beyond cold, right? Like, when I decided to leave and pack up all of my camera gear, I actually have uh, some heated gloves that I brought solely for emergency purposes, like, if, if I couldn't feel my fingers. And when I actually started to leave, my, you know, like I said, how your fingers get, uh, get cold and they start to hurt and then they kind of, you know, get numb, I was way past that point, right? My fingers were starting to... To, to get stiff and it was really hard to move them and uh, I had to just put on my heated my emergency heated gloves just to keep my fingers right I was scared and I thought I was going to lose the fingers and uh, and this isn't a sob story for me I'm just telling you it was really 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 cold so anyway I decided not to do that one primarily well I mean I did it but I decided not to uh, to post those videos because I didn't have very much footage from it primarily because my cameras froze but I am planning on going back out when it's warmer in the summertime, maybe, or in the springtime when it's warmer, and I can get some footage and I can get some time off of school to go out and do that. And so if you guys want to see those videos, let me know down in the comment section. I'll be sure to, uh, when those do come out, link you guys to that channel and tell you guys about it. But like I said, otherwise, I probably won't say much else about it on this channel just because it's going to be such a different audience um, for that. But anyway, so that was my survival in the woods story. It was freezing, freezing cold. It was awful, but I learned a lot, and so it was definitely worth it, and I had, I had a good good time overall so anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys want to hear more stories i have plenty of them um this really wasn't a funny story this was just kind of a long story to tell you guys what happened when i went out into the woods and so I wanted to let you guys know. And uh, I think with that said, that's about it for me. I do appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to hear more stories, let me know. And I will see all of you guys later. 